Hello, my name is Nicole Moore and I am a Juki brand ambassador. Today, I wanna to share how I turn my hobby into a business. I hope to give you tips and inspire you so that you can do the same. Let's get started. My girlfriend and I decided to have a booth at a craft fair and wish it was fun and very successful, but I took my unsold products and I created an Etsy shop. Now, at the same time, I started sharing my creations on Blogger and I learned all about blogging through an online course. After a couple years, my Etsy shop grew into, well, to the extent where I decided to obtain a business license and things just took off from there. I really wanted to share my creations and teach others along the way. I love contemporary and modern projects, and I wanted to learn more quilting and sewing and bag making techniques along the way. For decades, I have worked for service related industries. While this was an easy means to an end, it was not something that I was passionate about. I had always considered myself a creative person. Before I started seriously sewing, I was an avid scrapbooker. I liked how I could make a simple layout by following a simple pattern. When I became more confident in that art, I was able to create my own designs and layouts. And I found the same to be true with sewing. I invested in sewing and quilting workshops, classes, and retreats. The more I immersed myself in sewing and quilting, I didn't want to do anything else. So I donated all of my scrapbooking supplies and dove headfirst into sewing and quilting. I first made a t-shirt quilt as a gift for my husband. And this was a project that we did as a family and friends sewing retreat. My friend taught us all how to design and make our t-shirt quilt and it was a fun and easy project. I sent the finished top to a local long armor because I didn't want to wrestle the top in my tiny sewing machine for finishing. My husband loved the gift and still uses it today. Now next I made one for my dad with his old work t-shirts from the 80s and 90s. He used to go to conventions all the time and I used the quilt as you go method which didn't have, because I still didn't have a long arm and I wanted to finish the quilt myself. My dad loved this quilt and after he passed, I got it back to cherish again. And I love the feeling and the reaction that I got when gifting the memory quilts. And I knew that I could offer this service for others. I started saying yes to folks that would inquire about this service before you know it, I was making several quilts each year. Finishing the quilts was always a struggle, but I found a source that offered long arm rental. Now the times weren't always convenient. In fact, they were really inconvenient, but I needed a bigger machine. In 2017, I purchased my Juki J350 with the intent of marketing this line of business to help pay for the machine. I no longer had to rent time on another machine and I could commit to even more quilts each year. I even started outsourcing the cutting and the fabric fusing so I could take on even more orders. One of the most common questions I would get asked is, how do you make a t-shirt quilt? And I have many sewing and quilting followers on social media that want to make a memory quilt themselves, but they just don't know how. And a memory quilt is usually made with materials that you're given. So sometimes this requires some pattern creation on the fly. I wanted to help others make one for themselves, for their own family. I invested in learning on how to create an online course and produce T-Shirt Quilt Academy. The first class I offered was for more traditionally pieced quilt. This is probably the easiest type of t-shirt quilt to make and the class did really well. Now the second time I opened the course, I added the mosaic layout, which is always tricky because there's really never a pattern to share or follow. 
Instead, it's more of a technique base and leaves a lot of room for design freedom. Both quilt types are available in the online course and students can access either style at any time. I think one of the things that makes my products different than others is that I actually quilt the quilt with an all over quilting design. Because I have a larger throat on my machine, it's easy for me to provide options of different edge to edge designs. And most of the t-shirt quilts you see for sale are either sewn together like a blanket, just where the perimeter is sewn together, or just a simple stitch in the ditch or sometimes even tied. My online course is different than most because the students get a chance to communicate with me during each session. And if they can't attend a live session, then they have the opportunity to ask questions either before or after the live session. And we usually share this with the group so that everyone can learn. I first received lots of local inquiries from word of mouth. And while I continue to get these inquiries, I wanted to also serve folks that may not be local. So I decided to talk about my offerings on my social media channels and also as a part of my email marketing. I created an Etsy listing, but eventually transitioned this to my Shopify shop as a deposit only listing. The deposit only listing was less of a sticker shock and also lets folks break up the total cost between two payments. I also wrote a blog post about how to make a t-shirt quilt. And then I have mentions on having a custom quilt made for you. I produced a video on YouTube about this and have received many leads and conversions from this avenue. I recently connected with a local booster club and other high school clubs to offer a raffle prize in exchange for exposure to my business and visits to my website. I can retarget folks that land on my t-shirt quilt deposit listing and include them on any email marketing or social media posts. I think the best thing that folks can do to build their brand is to be authentic and consistent. Share what you love and then what you do on a regular basis. You will find people that like what you do also. Encourage sales by telling folks and letting them know what you have to offer. Building your brand does not happen overnight, but if you stick with it and be yourself, the rest will come together easily. I think that one of the things that makes me different from others is that I'm so diversified. I have seven lines of revenue, which means that I have the ability to make connections with many different types of people and products in this industry. Well, first I started with handmade goods with my Etsy shop, and then I branched out. Now I sell PDF patterns. That is a line of business. Um, I also have a resale license. I sell fabric and notions, um, mostly for the things that I offer in my workshops or in my blog posts. So lectures and in-person workshops is another uh, line of business. And then I also do sponsored content and, of course, my online courses. One of my goals is to make more connections with my followers by attending conventions with a Juki brand. When an in-person meeting isn't possible, I want to be more accessible through my online courses and social media. Now I've also upgraded my sewing studio and this is to accommodate more equipment. I hope to make more videos to help anyone that wants to turn their hobby into a business. To learn more about how Juki can help you start your own business, head over to the Business Solutions tab on the JukiQuilting.com website.